Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we have Sigmund Fraud from Clan Mutt. He's in his stock CS59. We're going to talk about stock tanks today. Does anybody play any tech tree tanks anymore? <laughs> I don't think so. No, that's not true. People do play tech tree tanks, but you have to ask yourself why at this point. That is a video for another day, my friends. That is a video for another day. Sigmund is going to show us how to rock the stock CS59. This is the tier 9 Polish medium. I did not much like the tier 8 if you go back and look at my reviews. I did quite like this one, but I don't know how long I played it stock. The gun is okay stock. He's rolling a 212 pin. A little bit painful, especially against tier 10s. But he does have 290 heat if he needs it. Although he doesn't carry heat, so he doesn't have 290 heat. In his note... He let me know that uh, he does not believe in using gold rounds. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that, to be honest. Um, on the one hand, I respect it. You're standing on your own principles. I So that's fantastic. I don't... I don't think there's a uh, gold round orthodoxy really that matters. It's a tool in the game. Uh, I would like to see the uh, gold rounds worked on. I would like to see them rebalanced. Frankly, I'd like to see them removed and then rebalance everything around one round. But that's not how the game is mecked. So, as far as it being in the game, I know that doesn't excuse every bad thing. I, the air quotes, it's in the game, get over it, is not necessarily an answer. But in this case, it's about as good an answer as I can come up with. That being said, Sigmund Fraud's not going to have any trouble dropping some damage in this game. And what I'm going to guess here is that it has a lot to do with playing decently, uh, paying attention to the minimap, getting shots where you can, placing your shots, all that good stuff. So let's see how he... What on earth? <clears throat> or a guy in an ooze will just drive across right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't have any engine sounds because we got a bit of a replay bug here. He was in the position to take the opportunity to shoot the guy. What can you say? What can you say? So, I, I don't... I can't get over it. This may be a video now about the world's dumbest slash bravest UDES 03 driver. <laughs> and then the T-30 is just going to drive out? Okay. Wow. So, we've got 497. Dropped a couple shots. He is where he needs to be, I think, making some shots. The south looks a little weak. It would be something I'd pay attention to. Uh, it would be also horrifying if I said we needed more people in the south. This is one of those situations on this map where I like this, that they're all up here fighting, because if they can leverage this overmatch, because it probably is, and kill a bunch of their tanks, then they might be able to, it, not might, they will be able to go back if the enemy team pushes up. So just watch the south on the mini-map, and by the way, I'm sorry about this over here. It's late in the afternoon and we, uh, we get the glare going on since I've got all windows. So pay attention. It looks like the Scorpion's moving north. He doesn't even like that situation down there. So it won't take the t enemy team too long, I don't think. Let's just stop this for a second, kind of look at the enemy team and start thinking about this for just a moment. They have two char fooders over there. Two char footers. Those are the two I'd be worried about. It looks like most everything else is here. Looks like maybe the 121, although I can't see if he's buried in there, but certainly the 50, 51, the Badger, their Minotauro is here, their AE Phase 1, their BZ, and we know we only probably... Uh, they had three Udez. Well, that's a different Udez. What was I going on about... Wait a minute, what is happening here? Is he not dead? He's not dead yet? <laughs> but... I thought that Udez was dead. He's still battling up there. <laughs> All right. We see the other Udez. What do we not see? We don't see their Scorpion. So the two Char Footers, those are the guys I would start to expect to potentially show up in the south and start causing problems. Look at the Udez. Here he comes. Uh oh, 280. <laughs> 268-4 just drove around the corner and said, All right, we're done with you, fella. Get out of here. The 121 Bravo is here. He's on the ramp. So I think maybe you had an opportunity to move up a little sooner than that. Uh, and I didn't really talk about it, but as you were sitting back on that perch back here, you could see that your guys had all moved up to where they are right here. So sitting over there was probably not going to get you a shot. 
There's a new desk back there. We're going to get a nice shot on this guy. He's taking some good opportunistic shots and positions. Nope, didn't get anything there. Gets lit. Got to be careful about topping over. He did send in his note to me that he thought everything was going really nice there and the south looked weak, so he went back. And it looks like that's what he's doing. And there, there he is. There's the char footer, the very guy, his own self, the one I was worried about showing up. And he's going to have a buddy with him, more than likely. So we're going to head back. We have 497 damage. And this is a nice, soft kind of dude to take on. Now, it gets tricky on this map. You can see that the enemy team's already almost even this thing up. Because when you have snipers sitting back there and a couple arty, and you've got guys hold down and hiding in these corners back this way, uh, they can do a pretty good job of tearing up your push. So you got to be really careful with how this goes. It, it would be nice if a good number of them would come back with our hero, but they can't really disengage because there's still significant tanks over there. You see that a lot up there in the northwest on this map. You see a team start to get an advantage and press it, but as they top over on those ramps or come around the corner, they start taking a lot of hits. There's artillery back up, there's TV back up. The enemy tanks are in pretty good defensive positions, so it's very difficult. The CDA gets wrecked. And you end up losing a lot of hit points doing that. So it's getting a little dicey over there. And our hero is now facing off against at least one char footer. So I don't like this position. I would go find some place where you can get uh, a little bit better cover. So let's take a look at this where that might be. Potentially over here on this side. Although if there's somebody back here, they might shoot you in the back. I think I like this rock back here for the moment. Because if these guys think they've cleaned up what was your spawn point, not your cap in this particular game. They're going to start filtering down this way. And it looks like you got a scorpion backing up. Right where you are right here is just purely out in the open, and that's going to, that's asking to eat a couple char footer shots. So we're posting up here. Very nice. Let's see how this works out. Looks like your team is maybe starting to create an advantage over there, although it's showing, it's showing down hit points. There goes the 121B. All right, so we found him. Put a nice little shot on him. Even this stock gun hits pretty hard. The Polish mediums have pretty hard hitting guns. It's I want to say it's a 300 alpha, which is pretty decent for a tier nine for sure. Yep, so 300 alpha, not bad at all. Oh boy, now there's two of them. Now there's two of them. We track that guy. We're trying to get out of here. He uses one shot on the scorp. Pretty smart using the. I don't know, what are those? I was going to say buildings. Uh, they're not quite tents. Ruins? <laughs> Sand rock things? I don't know. what Adobe? What are they made of? I don't know. All I do know is it's enough to stop a shot. Nicely done. So ambushed one of those guys. Now we're falling back. That's a good idea. No real reason to sit out there overextended. I hope we can get away. Decently fast tank, even while it's stock right here. I'm really surprised they didn't sort of press in there. It's just you and two char footers, but they're not platooned, so that can be difficult. One of them is full hit points, the other one took a bunch of hits. Looks like maybe we're typing right here. We got 1600 damage, did a nice job, and oh, this. <laughs> His whole team is in there looking for the arty. <laughs> there was really. I was going to say there's no reason to get back into their spawn point. I suppose there's an argument for someone to get in there and get rid of the arty. That would be nice. At the same time, everybody pushing into their spawn point. That's a really interesting situation. Let's see how it plays out. All right, here comes one of these fellers. He's busy shooting someone else. Nice shot. I don't know if you were also trying to go for the track when he shifted like that. Kind of looked like it, but it would have been. There you go. Another nice hit, but he eats the Minotauro. That's not good. And that brings them both down to about a one-shot. Very nice. The problem is, I don't think you... Yeah, here comes the Scorpion G. Ouch. Yeah, that, that hurt us a bit. That hurt us a bit. We put a shot. We actually hit that guy. Holy cow. Nicely done. <clears throat> Nicely done. I would fix my engine. Kind of walked into that. He's tracked. Uh, we just... Oh, somebody just missed him. We can kind of expect the Scorpion G or someone else to jump all over. So we're at 2,800 and 65 not a lot of good options here looks like your team has all fairly low hit points over there although the CC Mark 1's got some pretty good hit points 
We got 2,800 damage, and we're kind of keeping these guys busy. It'd be really nice if you could find at least one of them and kill them before they take you out. Oop, that's not the guy. He's got all kinds of good points. Oh, we're lit on fire. Not good. There you go. Oh, dang it. <laughs> and the other char footer takes an opportunity. Does he pay for it? No, it looks like he gets away with it. And a fairly even game as our hero goes down swinging with 3,000 something hit points and a stock gun. So nicely done, man. I like the initial position. You might have been able to move up just a little bit, but about the time you did is when your team really got up and over on there. We discussed a little bit about this map when you're trying to push, and it happens from both sides, but from both directions. Once you push up and over, there's so many TD sniper positions back there on each side. It's mirror image-ish. It's not exactly the same, but it's ish. And then two artillery backing them up as well. Some pretty good defensive positions where they can punish you as you're coming around the corner and to some extent say, stay hold down or at least peek a boom behind some cover. I liked that you kind of noted what was going on in the south, turned around. We discussed looking at the tank rolls on each side and kind of uh, projecting what the possibilities are. When I saw the two char footers and they weren't kind of up there in the brawling area, hadn't been spotted, you got to start thinking to yourself, self, I think I know where those two are working. And once they kind of realize, because they're counting noses too, They'll look at your team as well and say, well, the only thing sitting back there is maybe a couple three TDs. And with a couple char footers, if we can get up in there and get close to them, we can start taking those guys down. So you flexed, meta flexed back down to the southwest, found one of them, did a pretty nice job working those guys over in there, and essentially got one of the three guys dead. The Scorpion showing up was a bit of a wild card, but that's this game. Sometimes the other team does stuff. More than likely, he was camping in the back, saw that your big green push was coming into his spawn point, and he left. And so he came all the way around and supported the Chars. It was nice that you got rid of him, though, because he was a high hit point tank. And then the Chars, I think your guys are going to end up winning this game. So you said you stuck around. Let's just go ahead and kind of timestamp forward and see what happens. He did spectate to see how this went. This is a classic, a bunch of heavier, hard-hitting tanks with no real vision against a bunch of lighter tanks and autoloaders, too. If those three can work together, but they're all one-shots, they can they can really reduce a tank and delete a couple tanks quickly. So this, the T-56 is doing that. It looks like the Skoda gets down on the cap. Okay, so he's trying to draw them out. CC Mark One is sitting back there. The Viper, What is the 268-4 doing? <laughs> Let's go find out. I don't know if I'll be able to see him because if he's not drawn, he, he won't be drawn, if you know what I mean. I think he's not drawn. We're too far away. Yeah, I should be seeing him by now. I don't see his marker. All right. See if he shifts. I don't. The problem is I can't I can't change which tank he's watching. Oh, never mind. So I... What the? I didn't know that. Learn a new thing. I did not know that. Just like you're in the game. All right. So what is the 268 doing? Oh, he's moving. All right. So now he's moving. Char shows up, artillery hits us, we blap the Char, I think that 56 needs to move, we're down to a TVP, there he is, we find the TVP, Viper has got him, stop moving and aim, there you go, oh he bounced, that's not good, I have a feeling we're about to see a dead Viper from a 53-55 if this goes on too long, yep, <laughs> I called it. There comes the 268-4. She's gonna shoot on the move. More or less. More or less. The other char footer is now running around. Fast forward, how we doing? Where are they? Where are you? Come on out. Are you gonna try to win? We don't know. 268-4 is looking for him. There's an Artie. <laughs> so the 53-55 shotgun the 268 and the CC Mark 1 Mark 2 got the artillery this char could still win unlikely though where is he is he ever going to show up we got 48 seconds oh we're going to both get on cap okay fair enough a little bit tricky a little bit tricky if he gets in there and kills the skoda the cc mark ii has really poor turning and he only has about a third turret so he's going to put his back against the wall and they're going to end up capping it out i wonder if that guy turned over sideways or went afk or just said screw it and there you go. Our hero, Sigmund Fraud. Nice game. 3,000 damage out there. Can I actually get back to his tank? Does that work? Oh, come on now. 
I don't know. I don't know. How did... Wait a minute. I'm trying to think. How did I move... Oh, that's right. Clicking. Okay, never mind. Right click, left... No. <laughs> I'm just teaching myself about the replay system while I make my video right here real time. Stuff I did not realize. I did not know I could jump from tank to tank in the replays. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Nice job, Sigmund Fraud. Good job with the stock tank. We discussed a lot about this map. Some things to think about. And basically, at the end of the day, if you're going to if you're gonna play a, a stock tank, more or less do the same thing you do with with a fully upgraded tank. Just you got to be careful. you got to pick your shots. And I liked this one as an example because it's the old someone has to do it kind of idea, right? And based on being stock in a medium and the way that fight was going, maybe he was probably the best tank to go down there and see what was up. And I think he kept those chars busy enough for long enough that they didn't just roll in behind. So if the chars had gone in there and nobody went south and started doing that, what the, him and the Scorpion did, very possible the chars eat up the artillery and the TD that was down there and show up behind that brawl when they're all still packed together, and that's an absolute disaster. The chars show up behind the greens while they're still facing off with the purples up in that northwest corner. They're going to start deleting guys really quickly, and it's going to collapse very quickly. So that was basically stopped by Sigmund going, uh-oh, something uh, spidey senses are going off. I need to go down here and see what's going on. That is all I've got for today, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. You guys have a great day, and we will see you.